Hey there and welcome to my channel. It is a beautiful day. It is Saturday, April 13th, and I can't wait to share all the fun things I have going on in this day. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to share all things homemaking and I would love it if you would subscribe and if you're returning, it is so great to see you. You guys, we finally got the bookshelf up. I can't believe, I cannot wait to show you. Okay, let's jump into this beautiful day. Cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. It's about 8.15 in the morning. I have already gotten ready for the day. I have to go to work this particular day, but I'm very excited to show you bookshelves. They're finished, and I'm gonna take you in the garage to show you how they look before they get installed. This is the base. And then here's the other one. Don't mind that. Don't look at that. They're going to install them finally today. These, I like these. So we haven't decided if we're going to put um, little doors on these or not, but I'm so excited. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I so I do work Monday through Friday. Um, typically I will take the weekends off, but every so often um, we have a very busy day and I come in to work with my team. Um, if you're not, if you're new here, I work at a winery. I'm a GM of a winery here in St. Helena, California, which is in the Napa Valley wine country. And um, we do everything from lunches to wine tastings, garden tours, um, all kinds of different things. If you guys are interested or visiting the Valley, I will put a link down below. I also have a video coming out. Um, I'll probably do one every couple weeks of just things I love to do around my hometown. I was born and raised here um, and I just, there are so many wonderful things that um, this valley has to offer that people just don't even talk about. So it's more of a local perspective. Anywho, so this particular day I am overwhelmed with mom guilt. I have had the most insane two weeks um, with work. It has been so taxing. I feel like I haven't been available to my kids. And to cap it off, I had to work on a Saturday, so I just feel so bad. So I decided to wake up early, get everything ready, and make them a really, really good, delicious breakfast before I left. I always feel like happy tummies make happy kids, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take you guys up to work. I decided to do eggs. These are the eggs from the garden. How beautiful and the garden, I mean the chicken coop. Um, no, I did not grow these eggs in the garden, but they are so bright and beautiful. I just absolutely love them. They're so delicious. So anyway, I'm gonna do eggs, I'm gonna do sausage, I'm going to do some cinnamon rolls, and then I cut up some fruit. I'm just gonna put it all out for the kids to eat before I take off. While everything is getting kind of started cooking, the eggs and the sausage, I wanted to tidy up the house. So I'm gonna go in there and tidy things up. I, I got a question about this piece of art that's been sitting in our living room. My husband loves to paint. So at night when we have been uh, coming home from work, he has been working away at painting. So um, I just wanna move the actual acrylic paints that are down. I think he uses oil paints. Yeah, it's oil, it's not acrylic. But my daughter was uh, painting the other day and got it all over the couch that is never going to come out so um, I decided to just go ahead and move it since we were going to be gone and I didn't want um, our kids we I think I told you guys in my last video that we were hiring a new full-time nanny to help with pickup and homework help so I wasn't feeling um, so behind when I got home and that has been very helpful but I didn't want uh, one of our kids to start painting around the house because these these particular paints they do not come out because nothing was changing but with you it's so clear and now that you're here i see colors and never respect drum guess i finally learned my lesson because you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever and i feel so Sweet baby And I think to myself And I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else while I'm finishing the kids' breakfast, I wanted to get everything pulled together that I take to work. I always fill one Evian up with two scoops of my favorite electrolytes. Always have it linked down below. I am obsessed with this. I feel like sometimes I sell my electrolytes more than wine when I'm at work because 
they are so delicious. Um, and then I also do AG1 every morning. I like to add one scoop of AG1 and then a little scoop of the electrolytes. It just has the best flavor. If you haven't had AG1, it has like this vanilla pineapple flavor that's really good with the watermelon electrolytes. Oh my God, you guys, it's, it's one of my favorite things. I start my morning with that. I also just feel like, um, I just feel better throughout the day. So if you guys want to check that out. I will put a link to AG1 down below. Sometimes they um, sponsor videos and give me discount codes. So always look out for those because they're super yummy, but I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to get all of the kids breakfast ready. I'm going to show you how far we've gotten with the bookshelf. And then we're going to head up to work. And I know it so well. I will always be by your side. All the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, okay, guys This is how she's coming along. Here's the first one And then the second one will go up God just transforms this space I'm Trying to conceal that there's a like flat wall there I'm Trying to give this thing some purpose, right? So then what we're going to do is take our art collection and tomorrow I'm going to take this mirror down and we're going to put a gallery together for this wall, which I think is going to look really beautiful. So that's exciting. And I'm going to go do a quick voiceover and then I got to head to work. Show you guys how things are going. New candle day. I've got some, um, some sausage, some fruit eggs, toast, feed the kids, and then we'll take it baby. So now that all the kids' bellies are full, I head up to work, and today we had a really, really busy day. We were fully booked, um, and I had two lunches that I hosted. This is a sneak peek at what the bites look like that go with each of our wines. That's just for a standard tasting when you come in and try our Cabernets, and then here's where you have lunch. It's so beautiful. I have to say, I feel so humbled and proud to work beside the people that I work with. Um, I have two chefs in the kitchen. I have... Um, our main executive chef, which is Tom, and then Michael and uh, Cruz, who does all of the culinary program. It is incredible. So everything comes out of our garden and then uh, we've sourced our proteins. Oftentimes our garden's actually going through a, to a total transformation but uh, it's gonna be great this summer. I always love when Chef Tom uses his tongs to place every little piece onto the plate. This is a corn puree with roasted corn and sea scallops, and then he got some, I think, uh, just a couple little garnishes of herbs from the garden outside. And then the radishes I showed you in my last video, he shaves those and adds them to the plate. Um, so we do the uh, four course lunch here with a wine tasting and it is so delicious. He also decided to add a little bacon to this, you guys. It was so delicious. I absolutely love everything he makes. And then the second dish he did today was a pea puree, which I thought would be really fun um, to make for the house. Like try to make, it's actually not as hard as I thought it was. But these are fresh peas from the garden. He purees them down and then he does a... Um, uh, it's not steak, it's a um, sirloin on top and then adds some pearl onions and some chanterelle mushrooms. Those are my favorites. This is so good. And then Chef Michael is going to cut it up and I'll show you how it all turns out. But if you guys are in Napa and want to check it out, come visit me at the winery. There will be a link down below.
on a typical day here at work, I actually work in the office upstairs, um, usually on business related things. I don't host tastings here, but it was really fun to be able to come in today. And it was actually filling in for one of my other salespeople. So that was really fun. I got to work with the whole team. And I think I might start doing that at least once a month. It was really, really fun. And I also love to interact with the guests. I do miss that. When I was at the last winery, I got to go to the tasting room downtown and always meet guests. But now it is the end of the day. We had many guests here. We've cleaned everything up. We're going to start setting up for the next day. But this is kind of how a day in the life at the winery goes. We host guests. We break down the table. We set it back up. The rain is still here. It's going to go away tomorrow on Sunday when we are filming the new bookshelf install. And I was able to make a little flower arrangement from our garden outside, which was just so peaceful and wonderful. I mean, to have a job where I get to set tables and do flower arrangements and hang out in the kitchen is a pretty incredible job. I also get to meet incredible people from all around around the world. You could see the scale of this. It turned out so beautiful. We are going to, it's Saturday, so Sunday, we are going to fill this up and I will be filming that. I also wanted to show you how beautiful these turned out. They did such a nice job. So we'll end up putting a little caulk around that before we decorate them. So we'll do that tomorrow. These lamps look so tiny. <laughs> um, We'll end up putting like art books down here and then our book collections and all kinds of fun things. My husband actually designed this um, around our book collection, which I don't know if you guys remember, we used to have in the lower level of our Victorian. So I'm really excited to have all of that coming home um, from storage. And then I wanted to show you how messy the house is. Isn't that lovely? Kids had fun today. It's been raining, so. That's just what that's gonna be. So we're gonna do a little cleaning. Um, probably not in this video, I'm exhausted. It's about 6.15, 6.45, somewhere in there. And, oh, that's lovely. Um, okay, so we have a lot to do, um, but we're gonna do this on Sunday because I'm ready to curl up and relax. But, okay, so that's what it looks like. If you can imagine, so tomorrow, the plan is to fill this up. I'm really excited. And then over here, we're going to, again, take that down, put a gallery wall up, and just redo this room. But it's really starting to feel like home. This turned out so beautiful. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done. Definitely subscribe so you guys can see. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today's video and stick around because we have so much more to come. I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.